my dad gave me a Lando doll, like a action figure, uh, when I was a, a, a kid. And uh, he had like ripped VHS tapes of all three of them from like his friend had laser disc and he ripped them onto VHS and we used to watch them together. So that was like my very first memory. How old were you? It's probably like, I must have been like seven, like six or seven. Yeah. I think I remember being cornered by a stormtrooper at <laughs> some kind of uncomfortable Halloween party. <laughs> was my first uh, encounter with Star Wars and not really knowing the context and then having to go and work out what that guy was and why this is why he was. <laughs> and why you didn't like why him. I didn't <laughs> like him. I just got very quickly that he was an aggressive, uh, you know, seven-year-old stormtrooper. <laughs> uh, and that, that would have been it, yeah. Uh, uh, for me, I, I, I just enjoyed... That I, you know, I, was, I, I just really enjoyed the idea that I was in a Star Wars movie because I was, it was six years old in 1977 and uh, it changed my life, I think, as a kid and took me out of a very miserable, grey, 70s London and took me to another universe and uh, 40 years later to be a part of that, see your name on the poster with that even with that typeset, that lettering is, um, is a real thrill. So the whole thing's been a dream. I've got a pretty, I mean, I wasn't live when it first came out, sure. but, um, sorry, <laughs> that, um, but my, my older brother is an enormous fan of it. And so he kind of got me started when I was very young and I have a pretty stupid Halloween costume there's, I don't know why there's Y France on my head, but there, but there is. I think okay. I thought I was. I thought that was some kind of Jedi trick, maybe. So we, yeah. There's some. There's some very embarrassing costume stories. But I, as an adult, rediscovered it when it was all launched again. Mm -hmm. And from Episode Seven, I then went back and revisited it all with mature eyes and reappreciated how magnificent it is. And the fact that I could be blown away later on as an adult now, knowing that that is exactly what happened when people saw it the first time. And so now to be a part of it, it's just bonkers. It's brilliant. My first Star Wars memory, it's like, it's, I feel like that's when I was born, you know, my, the first time I ever heard about Star Wars. <laughs> it's one of my first memories, literally being in the cinema. I was um, in utero. Six, six, no, I was six years old. Okay, six. I was six, you can count from there, I'm not that old. Um, in fact, I feel like my whole life has been the Star Wars generation, because I was six years old, one of my first ever movies, and I know I could read, because I could read that scroll, white against black, as it went up, and the music, mm. the music, it's incredibly it's so incredible iconic. Incredible music, yeah. It's so iconic. Um, and when was the first time for you? Uh, 1977, believe it or not, I was alive at the time, and I was uh, a, a child of, uh, uh, well, you know, I was coming of age in the 70s. I was in uh, yeah, but talk high school. Yeah, talk more about the film, I was darling. in you're high talking about school, yourself. and I very much, well, I was just trying to talk put it in, in time. You're totally right, of course. Uh, and then Star Wars came out in cinemas. It was a huge so sensation. One of your first movies. One of the, the first, first movies so I way, ever saw. We were both. And in a way, the Star Wars legacy, George Lucas's film, introduced us both to film. Introduced yeah. us both to there it is. what was possible. And because it's a sci-fi movie, it was just the characters. Uh, I think it was me on, my, on the living room carpet. My dad had put in a VHS tape, and we were watching uh, uh, Luke and Moss Eisley or, or Tatooine eating blue milk. Uh, spending time with Uncle Owen and Anne Beru, and <laughs> it was those those uh, uh, classic moments uh, which uh, which I remember. I was just watching it on VHS at a friend of mine's house um, as a probably five year old, and I loved it. It was so exciting, and I had all the toys and everything, and playing with the action figures, and yeah, it was great. Well, hearing about it was when I was acting for George Lucas uh, on in American Graffiti. We were shooting, it was 3.30 in the morning, it was cold, and we were both tired. And I just remember saying, what do you think you want to do next? And he said, well, I'm kind of a science fiction thing, sort of like uh, Flash Gordon or Buck Rogers, uh, but with Stanley Kubrick special effects from 2001, you know, very realistic, uh, but, but, you know, but fun, fun. Thank you. 
No, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you for coming. And you know, it's it, it, it means a huge amount to the movie. Yes. To Disney, to uh, the whole franchise. That yeah. there's this support. And all the way from Germany. So all the way we from do Germany. appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Because one of the